Hi everybody, I hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm gonna be covering the Komodo dragon. This creature also goes by the name Komodo monitor and is known by the locals of its region as Ora or Buya Darat, which means land crocodile. And this massive predatory creature is the largest living species of lizard found in the world. Being a part of the monitor lizard family known as Varanidae, and having the scientific name of Varanus komodoensis. The largest members of this species can grow to be up to 10 feet long and weigh about 300 pounds. Now this includes their long muscular tail, which they've been shown to use to be able to knock down large prey, such as wild pigs and deer. But due to its relatively slow speed of 12 miles per hour, as well as poor senses, other than its exceptional sense of smell, the Komodo tends to be an opportunistic ambush attacker when it's not munching off of carrion that's recently died. Now the Komodo has 60 regularly replaced serrated teeth that can be up to one inch in length. And these shark-like chompers are accompanied in its mouth by a long, deeply forked tongue, which as I stated earlier, helps out with its most acute sense of smell. Their skin is normally a dark greenish gray color and is uniquely armored by small bony scales that are called osteoderms that somewhat function as a natural chain mail, making the adult specimens that have developed it quite durable. Now these animals completely dominate the ecosystem that they're in, primarily being found on Komodo Island and a couple of the other islands of Indonesia's lesser Sunda Islands. While in its home territory, the Komodo dragon prefers hot and dry places, usually being found in the grassland, savanna, and low elevation tropical forest of its islands. They live and sometimes hunt from burrows that can be up to 10 feet across and 30 feet in depth, using these for shelter at night, especially because they're primarily active during the day. In the moderate temperature of mid-afternoon is normally when this carnivore comes out to hunt typically selecting an ambush site and stealthily attacking once the prey is close enough, lunging for a bite to the throat or underbelly. And although early researchers used to think that they had a toxic cocktail of bacteria in their mouth, which caused the prey to go into septic shock after being bitten, it's now been concluded that they use the weak venoms and anticoagulants in their saliva to allow its prey to bleed out after it's received massive lacerating damage from its teeth. And that's only if the Komodo doesn't quickly take out its prey in its first assault. This greedy animal can eat up to 80% of its body weight in one meal, particularly if it's eating a larger animal such as a deer, horse, or even water buffalo. But other than that big game, it also eats a wide variety of smaller things, such as some invertebrates, birds and their eggs, small mammals, monkeys, wild boars, and even goats. They're also noted as being cannibals, feeding on smaller members of its own species, as well as attacking other adults in times of dire need. And let's not talk about the fact that they do rarely attack and kill human beings. Now, due to its abilities and its influence on its habitat, for my one to three rating, I'll give the Komodo dragon a rating of three, which is an apex rating. I hope everyone enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you next time. Be sure to like and subscribe to search for the perfect predator.